Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's really starting to feel like FC25 is right around the corner. EA just yesterday released the database or the beginnings of the database that we will be using to make these starter squads and look in depth at the ratings of all of our players in FC25. Five. But the biggest thing about this database is we're learning some of those all important role plus plus additions coming in the new fciq and also play style changes to some of these new cards as well so there's a lot to discuss today even some leaks that we have posted about maybe the first promo of the year during early access we're going to talk about it in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now let's go straight to the news and info hot off the press ea revealed the official stats for these cards. Now, revealed is why I put that in quotes because, yes, guys, these are the exact same stats on these players that we saw leaked just about two weeks ago. Maybe three weeks ago. It's been forever, it seems like, since we had the first leaked ratings of these cards and all of the ratings match up stat for stat. Jude Bellingham's a 90. VVD's an 89 with Aerial Plus. Even some of those leaks are 100% accurate and spot on. Now, what released... What EA released yesterday was the top 25 from both the men's and the women's side of football. And where they put those ratings is right here on their website. I will link this down below in the description. This is going to be where all the ratings will be revealed each and every day until Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Kind of a random time, to be honest. That is 3 p.m. Eastern, which would be 8 p.m. UK, I believe. Maybe, you know, do some calculations for whatever time zone that you're in. But that is when the full database will be out. So I think what it's going to be from every day here on out through this week, it's going to be 25 more players on the men's and the women's side. Maybe they'll throw in some other lists or other types of players along the way. Like I said in the dates video that we did a couple of days ago, EA milks this. They're going to post some ratings. A couple, a couple ratings a day give us some more cards to look at each and every day which will kind of be interesting because what we're finding in here is there's actually some really good information that we are learning from these ratings now first thing is you see this mbappe card of course 91 rated joint highest rated card in the game no stat changes for Mbappe. We'll talk about that in a second on some other players. But you notice here you've got the weak foot. You've got the skill moves. No work rates this year. Once again, those are removed. You've got alternate positions. He can play left wing and striker. Remember, center forward has been removed. So some people, myself included, look at this Mbappe card like, oh, where's center forward? Well, that's no longer in the game, right? That was one of the changes with FCIQ. Seems a bit weird still to not have a center forward position in the game. But basically, some of the IQ roles of a striker and even of a left wing I think and a center attacking mid would kind of overlap with that of a center forward so that's of course tactic stuff that we'll get into as we get onto the game and learn about this more but the biggest thing here with these ratings is the play styles guys killing Mbappe EA just made the most meta card in the game even better not only did he move to madrid get all the real madrid links with Vinny, with bellingham la liga links as well but now they have finesse shot added to mbappe's card finesse plus right on the 98 team of the tournament in fc24 that is coming to a close that sbc that card was crazy now he's got finesse shot on his base version which means probably every version of mbappe will have finesse shot throughout most of the year unless they take it away for some reason in a promo card that's going to make this card even more OP and even more expensive on the market as well. I don't even want to think about how expensive this Mbappe card is because that finesse shot is absolutely going to impact his price. He's still five star, four star, no changes there. And of course, no changes on the stats. But for Mbappe, for sure, it is about this play style of finesse that has been added. Now we go back to the homepage. I don't know why it said I had to reset there. That's interesting. It was not doing that earlier. But I do want to show you a couple of really interesting things about this car these cards. Look at Jude Bellingham's card, guy. I mean, we knew that he got a crazy stat boost in the shooting area, plus 12 overall, but it's now like visual, the in-game stat boost that he got. Look at this, man. 12 positioning, 13 finishing, 17 penalties, and then a couple of other boosts, of course, throughout the rest of it to give him that full plus 12 boost on the overall stat, plus 19 free kick accuracy. This boost is insane, right? Dribbling, they didn't boost his balance. He gets plus one agility, plus five reactions, plus six composure. That's really, really massive. And then even on the uh, defense and physicality side, he's got some small updates there and some one or two areas. Heading accuracy, plus six. Jumping, plus five. And strength, plus two. So it's really interesting to see the comparisons 
comparisons to the FC24 ratings inside of the FC25 comparisons here. I really enjoy that EA did this. I think it's really, really cool. Alongside with the play styles and the weak foot skill moves and the alternate positions. I know that some people may think, oh, alternate positions... Who cares? That doesn't matter. It's actually going to matter more, like we talked about in yesterday's video with the whole new FCIQ and the role situation, player um, positions. If your player is out of position, there's no more like starting a guy at center back and then moving him to right back or vice versa in game. Um, if they don't have that alternate position, they are not going to play very good in game. So it actually does matter with the alternate positions even more this year. But this is kind of the database. And we found some other really interesting thing things inside of this, like some of these individual stat ratings, guys. It does expose EA just a little bit because take a look at Martin Odegaard, right? Odegaard got a pretty sizable defending boost and a big upgrade overall from his FC24 card. But um, he got plus 17 stand tackle, and that is what caused most of his defending stat overall to go up, right? I mean, sure, 17 stand tackle, that's a huge upgrade. Should they have upgraded maybe like some other things in here too to get the defending up? You know, maybe. Um, there's another card that I want to show an even better example of this on. It is Lautaro Martinez, which there's two things to talk about here. First of all, this is the first Inter card that we have seen with the official name of Inter. Since EA do not have the rights, Inter, for all you fans out there, is now going to be known as Lombardia FC. And Milan, I believe, is Milano FC. But Lombardia FC is crazy, man. Get those rights, EA, please. Anyway, Four star, four star for Lautaro. He's got finesse plus. He can play striker, and that's it. No other alternate positions. But take a look at this individual stat boost. He got like plus six defending off of his FC24 card, plus three interceptions, plus 20 standing tackle. Plus 20 standing tackle. That's what makes his defending stat go up. They didn't upgrade his heading accuracy, slat tackle, defensive awareness. It was all the stand tackle going up by 20 that gets him his stat boost and then a short, small boost to interceptions as well. So again, that exposes a few things with these ratings where you see a big stat increase on the overall, the card on the face stat of it. But then you look at it in games and you're like, okay, that's how they got there. You know, kind of weird. Anyways, some of the rest of these stats changes. I love this though. I love seeing the plus ones, twos, and threes. And then of course, scrolling down to see this card looks awesome, by the way. Finesse, Power Shot, Relentless, which is... It's very Lautaro Martinez, but it's kind of random for a striker, let's be honest. And then technical. Technical base with power shot and finesse. This guy is going to be incredible at the start of the year with 88 shooting, 87 dribbling as well. Now, as we scroll down the rest of the list, you can see there's a whole bunch of cards in here. It is very fun to look at. One of the things that I'm enjoying the most out of all this is looking at the goalkeepers, man. Because we've got playstyle pluses showing up on these goalkeeper cards. You can even see the stat changes here with the handling, the positioning, the reflexes for some of these cards. I think there was like one or two of the keepers that have been released so far that had an actual change in reactions. Uh, but that's interesting to see in here too. And then of course, the playstyle plus is down at the bottom with their descriptions. Deflector plus for Gianluigi Donnarumma, unique deflection animations, max power parries, the footwork, which Ter Stegen has as a playstyle plus, exclusive foot save. So with these playstyles on the goalkeepers, it really sounds um, very animation based. Courtois is one that I'm so interested to see how these playstyle plus uh, work in game two. He's got the 1v1 close down plus, unique reflex saves, better close shot reads, greater rush speed cross claimer and far throw as well and then of course you look at ederson and ederson has more passing play styles than some of our midfielders will have at the start of fc 25 as well he's got long ball pass plus also pinged pass which is honestly nuts like seriously those two play styles and a play style plus it's actually a pretty good combination for a midfielder he's got it in net no other besides cross claimer uh, trait no other play styles rather that are goalkeeper related. He got plus one reactions to an 88, but that's sort of the interesting stuff that you can find in here. I know right now, if you look through a lot of these players, you're like, okay, I've seen these cards. What's the point? What's the cool point with this? It's just cool to see the stat boost and to see the play styles because a lot of them did change, to be honest. Like we've seen the play style pluses that have changed, but a lot of players have got play style regular changes as well. Like they've added one or changed a couple of them. This Phil Foden, the more that I look at this card, and especially when I look at the in-game stats, just makes me think this card's going to be absolutely nuts to start off this next year. So I'll stop clicking through this because I know you guys can do this. Link is down below in the description if you want to go and check it out.
This will be where EA update and add all the cards this whole entire week. So we will be there for this for sure. Now, of course, this also means that Footbin is going to be adding these cards because EA is going to be adding more each and every day as we expect. So the squad builders can finally start to come out and we absolutely love to see it, guys. This is the best part about all of this is as, as we get players added every single day, like right now, I was trying to build a squad with a right back. There's no right backs that have been... Uh, released in ratings it's all center mids left backs attackers like there's no right backs it's kind of crazy so um we're going to get more ratings today probably some right backs will be included in that but just be watching out for footbin because they will be adding all these cards in as ea confirmed them and we'll be able to build some squads now this is where it gets good because when we turn to the leak side of things and actually some things aren't leaks they're confirmed because EA has been, I guess, collaborating with some of these footballers to release their own ratings on their own Instagram pages or some of the club pages, like Chelsea's tweet we'll look at here in a second. Endrick put on his Instagram story yesterday his official card, which of course matches up straight to the leagues, but also includes his play styles. Endrick is going to be 77 rated with rapid quick step and power shot, which is a pretty crazy combo as just regular play styles for him. Now, the one thing I will mention about these posts is too, it's hard to see, but it's here on the left side. You can see if you kind of turn your head like I'm going to do right now. He's got um, advanced forward plus. That is the role that he has or one of the roles that he has in the striker position on his card. So that's really interesting to see that for him there. So that is Endrick's card. If you saw a tweet about like Bobby Charlton, that was that was cap. It was bait. It was just for fun. Endrick did not post Bobby Charlton with his dynamic image over Charlton's card on uh, his Instagram. This is what is on his actual Instagram. couple more that I want to show you. Salma Basha. I want to make one interesting point here about Salma Basha. She has attacking wingback plus plus. So that's a roll plus plus there with the two pluses. Um, but you notice here that she only has whipped pass, intercept, and relentless on her Instagram post. These posts that the players are making in collaboration with EA do not include all of their play styles. Because if you actually go all the way to the bottom and look at Salma Basha, she's also got anticipate dead ball technical her, this card looks unbelievable by the way Selma Basha is going to be a legend in FC once again this year plus seven aggression plus 11 free kick accuracy with dead ball regular that's an insane card maybe even better than Karchawi but I just wanted to mention that it shows only three of the play styles or play style pluses up here at the top left so they don't I guess take up too much of the graphic but that's one thing I want you guys to notice Julian Brandt is one of the other ones that I've seen he's got Tiki Taka plus again technical and dead ball and he has got a half winger plus plus as a center attacking mid so that means he'll probably drift a little bit more outside that looks like a usable card for the first week or so right the pace is a bit of a problem but you know you could use him in the attack now that's what we're seeing here. There's probably going to be more tweets about this stuff. Like Chelsea posted this picture of Cole Palmer and Lauren James, which is 100% aura for sure. That's a lot of aura and super cold and fire at the same time. Cringe. But what a tweet from them. There's going to be more stuff like this out in the next couple of days for sure. I'd expect uh, tweets from players. I'd expect tweets from clubs on Instagram and on Twitter. So be watching out for that for sure. Now, we're going to transition into talking about leaks. So all of this confirmed what has not been confirmed but is starting to be leaked are more players with roll plus pluses according to some of our leakers on twitter like asy foot trader here he's got official fc 25 players with the false nine roll plus plus and i believe this would be a striker specific since all the players here are strikers a striker specific role um, he says this completely changes how the players perform in game want to know more well yes we we do know this is how this is going to completely change how the players uh control in game but again look at the first comment on this tweet this whole new stuff sounds confusing as f i totally agree man i think that's the thing it's gonna like be annoying about the whole role plus pluses and all this the tactics it looks very difficult to understand straight away so i hope ea do a really good job of even if it's like basic tutorial stuff in the game like walking us through it because we're going to have to understand it in a new way. Eusebio, Ladeschelen, Eric Cantona. I don't know if this role plus plus is going to be OP, but with the players that are on this list, it might be OP. So just take a note of false nine role plus plus right now. Griezmann, Lautaro, Sophia Smith, Katoto, Lewandowski, Di Natale, and the Icons. That looks cracked. So that's one of the leaks we had. There's probably going to be more of this. I mean, he literally hints at it in the tweet. Want to know more? Question mark. So there's probably more leaks upcoming. Here's another one from his designer in collaboration with him, ASY, as well. Um, 
Center attacking mid, playmaker, plus plus. And again, look at the list of players here. You've got some insane icons, some really cracked looking golds and heroes as well. Um, Jamal Musiala, Florian Verts, Paolo Dybala, and Rose Lavelle being the only gold cards that make this list. I mean, that maybe maybe that playmaker plus plus is going to be super OP as well. It's just really interesting to see what cards have the plus pluses. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of higher rated ones here, but it's nice to see that the heroes have some as well. And the icons, of course, have that too. So this is the first sort of information that we've seen with the plus pluses leaked for a lot of these cards. So be watching out for more of those leaks today as well. I would imagine there's more of them coming. Now, the last big thing to touch on in this video is... This one from ASY once again, he says this is the official FC25 Total Rush card design. And if Total Rush sounds familiar, that's because you maybe saw a tweet before that the first season in FC25 is also called Total Rush. So is this a promo card or is this some sort of objective type of card because it's going to be tied to the season and that's the question that i'm kind of rolling around with right now but to be honest guys a card design that looks this good especially since we already have some other like season objective type card designs i think this is going to be a promo and this might be it just might be our early access promo last year we had the nike mad ready promo ea have said nothing about what promo is going to be during those early access seven days starting the 20th of september this might be it especially because ea is really pushing the rush mode this might be the promo that goes alongside with the season to start things off. We will have to see. There's going to be more leaks, I'm sure, coming. It just feels like there's a lot of leaks that are going to be coming out here really, really soon. I mean, there's even rumors and maybe a couple screenshots on Twitter slash X of somebody who's already got the game super crazy early. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of that, but there's some stuff going around related to that too. So, you know, take that with a pinch of salt, especially with it's being leaks and stuff. But EA is going to be confirming this stuff here very soon, most likely. A lot of these leaks will probably be confirmed in those pitch notes, man. Those pitch notes, guys. I keep saying that, but we're waiting for those. Today is probably the earliest day I would expect them. It's either today, tomorrow, or Thursday. So we're waiting very impatiently. We want those ASAP EA. We love them. Uh, <laughs> we're waiting for those pitch notes as soon as possible. So that's going to be the next big step of info in this game. But it's nice to have a database. And like I said, it, it is the database. It is. This is the official database. It's not the full database yet because that's going to be out on September 13th. But there will be more interesting cards that we can look at today as they put these out around the content time, I'm guessing, or maybe two hours before content, because that's when they were tweeting about these ratings yesterday. So be watching out for that with more players coming today and probably more leaks as well. We will, of course, be here to cover it. And of course, the closer we get to FC25, the more we're going to talk about preparing for the best start possible on this game, no matter what time you're going to get on it. Web app, early access, full release, 10 hours maybe. We'll talk about it all on this channel, guys. So get buckled in. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and tell a friend if you have not. I will see you guys in the stream today. We're still hanging on the last legs of FC24. I'm not level 30 yet. I'm almost there. But I will see you guys in that stream today. If you didn't like the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, comment down below what rating or what piece of information from this list database you found the most interesting yesterday on this game it's been nathan for the count and i will see you guys in another video tomorrow and on the stream today peace